Hello and welcome back to part four of my playthrough of Panzer Grenadier from Avalanche Press. Now, from the last video, if I've learned anything, it is not to video very early in the morning before you've had a bucket of coffee. So uh, apologies, <laughs> apologies for that and uh, all the mistakes and things that happen. So yeah, sorry. Okay, what's happening? Well, for the Germans, our leader up here has managed to recover slightly, so he's only disrupted, so he can now move or try and uh, recover fully. But we do have a demoralized unit that's running away as fast as its little legs can carry them into the town because they failed to recover from uh, the major stack. They were hit by the, uh, I believe, by the heavy machine guns couple of disrupted units there as well. It's not looking good for the Germans. The Russians are holding their own. They can't do much. They can't push forward. They can only withstand the German attacks. We've got a, a couple of disrupted units here, including a leader. So um, we'll see what happens this time. Right. If I can get the maths right, let's see who's going to go first with initiative. White for the Russians, yellow for the Germans. Oh, right, see if we can get it right this time. For the Germans, one plus two is three. For the Russians, five plus one is six. The Russians win, six, take away three. It's three, halve it, one and a half, round it up. The Russians get two action segments before the Germans can do anything. Okay, so two action segments for the Russians. So. These Germans are in right trouble because this stack of three with 21 strength is going to have another go at this disrupted stack of German infantry. So, on the 21, unfortunately, as I'm starting to learn, they're sort of magic numbers and one of them is 22. But we're 21, so here we're on the 16, but we have to take one away because they are three or more hexes, the target. So we're on 11. Let's see what we get. Five. On the 11 is Morale check, just do it. So it's another morale check for these German platoons. They have a morale of seven, they're just disrupted, so they, they keep their morale. So, seven or less, top unit. Six. They're okay. Unit on the bottom. Five, they're okay. Whew. Luckily, they survived that attack from the heavy machine guns. So that's that one. Russians get a second go. What they're gonna do, we can either bombard here, fire on that, or well, I might hold back because then if they fire, these might get brave and rush in. Uh, Let's bombard. What are we going to bombard? Let's bombard the Major again because he's down. He's down to, to one platoon. Now the problem with this, even if it does recover, it cannot move back because it will now be moving towards units that can hurt it. So we'll have to send a leader back to bring that platoon back into the action. So, yes, this is attacking this, and we're on the eight, and it's, if you know by now, I think it's four or less, ten or more, for the bombardment on the Majors, majors stack over there. Seven, no, it's a miss. Right, now the Germans can have a go. 
So, I think we'll activate the Majors stack, which will activate this stack, because I want to move this stack out the way over here, away from this. And it activates the Captain, and the Captain activates the Lieutenant stack. So all these are activated. So we're going to move with those, we're going to fire with those, And I think we're going to move with those, we're going to move those here. So next turn we can start having a go. We've got the heavy machine gun there. Plus a lieutenant with a combat modifier of two. So I think that's right. Activate that stack, which activates that stack, which activates that stack, and that stack activates that one. Right, so movement first. We're just going to move, these can move one. So we're just going to move them here out the way. So they're done. They're going to move here. Should have moved them separately, remember. I'm a tinker for doing that. Let's see if I do it properly this time. So one, one, one. Can't move any more because they'll fire. So They've done, it's just these now. So we've got a reduced, these two can combine because of this Majors Combat Modifier. We've got five there, whoops, five there. Got the other one skedaddling back to the town. <laughs> five, and we've got 10 here, I think. 10, yes. So, 15, plus two for the Majors Combat Modifier. 17 on the direct fire, and we're going to fire at this single unit here. So on the 17, we have, well, on 17 strength, we are on the 16. But we are, one, two, yeah, three more hexes away, they're in the woods. So usual thing, it's a minus three column modifier, but we can only go down two. So we're on the 16, one, two, we're on the seven. Not so good, is it? Okay, let's have a go. Oh, six, I don't think that's any good at all. On the seven, no, that's a miss, that's uh, no result. So, I'm putting the wrong things on as well, look. Crikey. What am I like? And there we go. Right, Soviets, Russians. Hmm. We'll hold fire here, because I dare say they're going to have a go there. They're going to pop at us. Or we could just have a go. Let's just have a go. We've got to do that. Yeah, okay. Eight here. That's on the seven column. There are no modifiers. They aren't. They're in the aren't more than three uh, hexes away or three or more hexes away. They're in the clear, so it's as is on the seven. Let's see if the Soviets have any better luck this time. Oh, eight. No, that is still a miss. Oh dear. Germans. Well, they can either. Fire with that, try and recover that, or we've got to do that. See if that can get recovered. What have we got here? Oh no, it's just too disrupted. Hmm. Not a leader there. Okay, let's do this one. We're going to try and recover this platoon who has a morale of seven but it's six because they are demoralized so they've got to throw under a six. No. <laughs> so they continue on their merry way into the town. So they'll go there and they can stop but they can't be seen or spotted or fired on. Right. 
Russians. Not a lot else anybody can do. That can't fire. I'm going to activate the kernel though, because that's going to activate this so we can add plus one onto the morale to see if we can get this recovered. So we've got uh, a leader here as well. Right, so recovery of the lieutenant has a morale of eight. Morale of nine because of the colonel's morale modifier. So under a nine. Would you believe it? <laughs> no, this colonel is shouting his head off at this lieutenant. This one has a morale of seven, but it's eight because of the colonel. So under an eight, six. At least they have uh, recovered. So we'll pop that on there, that on there. And a couple of move fire doobies. Germans. Um, let's try let's try our leader up here. He has a morale of nine. I think that is nine, yep. So he needs to throw under a nine to fully recover. Eight just does it. <laughs> so he's tickety boo now. Russians. I don't believe they can do anything. This is out of range, as per normal. They've had a go. They can't do anything. So they're passing, but it's back to the Rush, uh, back to the Germans. And I think just to finish off, we're going to have a go with this on the ten strength at this. We're activating it and having a go at. Should we have a go at that? No, let's have a go at that one. So ten strength on the seven. They are in the woods though, so they're down to two. <laughs> but they might as well, you never know. They're on the two column. So four or less, 11 or more. Five. That's it. Russians, Soviets can't do anything, they're passing. Germans can't do anything, they're passing. That is the end of the turn. So, we'll get the counters off and be right back. So, here we are. New turn, it's all moved along the turn counter. Hope you can see it. I've had to say from last time, I had to spread it out. Just realised it's a bit more spread out because of uh, <laughs> units running away. Okay, it is. Initiative. Crikey, the Russians look like they've got it again. Germans, two plus two is four. Russians, four plus one is five. The Russians do indeed have it. Five minus four is one. Halve it, round it up, it's one. So they get to go first and have their action segment. Okay, let's bombard on... The major we might hit one day so eight four or less ten or more six no Germans the left yes the lieutenant is going to activate activates this Activates this. Can't activate that one, it's the major. And because it's got a combat modifier of two, it's going to add those two for a combined fire. Right, let's see what we got. And it can also add two to a unit in that stack. So we've got 10 here, 10. Oh. 
29, 30, 31, 36. I think that's right. 10, you know me. <laughs> 10 and 10 is 20. There's 10 there, isn't there? Yep. Plus the 9, 29. Oh, hold on, 29, 30, 31, 36, 39, yes. That's still not enough to get onto here though. It's on the 30. And we're attacking that spotted unit. Because everybody's in range for the Germans, but they are in a wood, in the woods, and more than three hex or three more hexes away. So that's minus three, so it's minus two maximum. One, two, we're on the 16. That's a bit better. Let's try that one. Let's see how the Germans do. Seven. That's a bit middly. That's the only one. <laughs> Don't laugh. Look, it's the only one that has no result. So that's all done. The Russians are laughing up their sleeves, thinking what useless shots these Germans are. Soviets, Russians. They're out of range, of course. I'm going to activate the colonel who activates this, activates the captain who activates the lieutenant. Because what I want to do is I think, uh, move. This one wants to move. I think we're going to start moving this one up through the woods. It's going to take a while. Colonel is going to say activate this and they're going to try and recover. And the captain here will just stay where he is, but he's been used to activate that, so he, I believe he will have a moved fire marker on him. So, first thing we'll do is see if we can. These can't fire, can't activate that one. Let's see if we can recover this lieutenant. Has a morale of eight, but the colonel can add one to it so it has a morale of nine and it needs to throw under a nine. Seven, there we go. At last. He is back to normal. Colonel's activating the captain who activates the Lieutenant. The lieutenant is moving up into the woods and for foot units it's two. They've got three so they can move one. Next turn they can move through here because you can have a maximum of three combat units. Remember leaders don't count as combat units I think. So yeah they could just move through that or move on to it and then move through. So that's that. Colonel and the captain, because they're not moving, are staying there. Germans. Well, Major's activating himself and activating this to try and get this back recovered. So at least one of them can join the Major stack. And we'll worry about this later. So, this is one, two, three. So, being a bit cheeky, this is activating, which is activating this to recover. But this unit under here is firing 
and it's adding the majors 2 to it. So firing, recovering, and that's movement, isn't it? So that's on the 7, that's got 7 strength, so that will be on the 7 column. Bit of a long shot, but might as well. It gets moved down 2, back on the 2 column, so we need very low or very high. Three! Do you know what? That's a morale check for this unit, which has a morale of seven, so it needs to throw seven or less. And do you know what? It doesn't. Crikey, it's disrupted. But because everybody's had a go, there's no leaders, it can't... Well, it can, yes, it can have a go and activate itself, can't it? So that one's done. This one is going to try, or this stack is going to try and recover. The Major has a, whoa, the Major has a morale modifier of one. So they become eight morale, so they need to throw under an eight. Top unit. Eight, no, under an eight. Bottom unit. Six, well, one of them is recovered at least so I think that's right I hope it's right Soviets Russians they can't do anything so they're in no danger so we'll have a go with this one this has got eight strength so it's on the seven, as is, there are no modifiers, it's not three or more hexes away. On the seven, let's see how the Soviets do. Nine, I don't think though. Nine on the seven, no, it needed a 10. Germans, well he's got to, I might forget, let's do this unit here, they have got to try and rally. They are full strength, so they've got a morale of seven, which goes down to six because they are demoralized, so under a six. If they fail, they don't have to flee anymore because they're safe in the town. Six. No, it was under a six. Better luck next turn. Russians. This one here He's going to now, because there's a space, he's going to move up. So we activate that one. And I don't think anybody can do opportunity fire because these are all three. Um, I can't get it. Three. Yeah. Oh, crikey, spinning round. Hold on. There we are, bit of a tidy up. So this is moving, moving them separately, but it doesn't matter one, but just to get into the habit. Two. And that. Germans, the only one that can't, can do anything is our leader up here, or hey, the German leaders. So he's got a movement of four. Now, maybe he can get back to his, yeah, let's get back here. One, two, three, four, they can't fire because everybody's fired. That's it. Russians, just this one here, who's going to try and rally. He is, whoops, he is full strength, so he is seven. So we need under a seven. Nine, nope, no luck. Okay, Germans. No, nope, pass. Russians. No, they can't do anything. Pass. That's the end of the turn. Right, we'll get the counters off and we'll try another one. Here we go then with the next turn. All the counters are off and uh, we haven't seen it for a while, but over there is the turn track. 
and uh, we have moved quite a bit whoops but there's still a bit to um, to do so let's see how we do this turn initiative white for the Russians yellow for the Germans it's oh it's a double and a double is a random event let's see what we get It's a four, it's a sniper. German, Romanian sniper would be German. The German player selects one Soviet leader, not including a tank leader, well there aren't any, within five hexes of any German unit with the direct fire value and rolls two dice. On a result of nine or more, the leader is rem removed from play. Right. Snipers. So, well, it's got to be the colonel, I suppose. We're all within five, and they're all direct fire. So one of these units has got a sneaky sniper in it. Nine or more. It's removed from play. Here we go. Ooh, 10. The Colonel has been hit and is removed. Good grief. <laughs> right, let's do the initiative. So for the Germans, two plus two is four. For the Russians, two plus one is three. Germans have it. Four minus three is one, half, round up, one. Germans get uh, one action segment and go first. Now. See, what I'm not sure of, the Major can activate the Captain, who can activate the Lieutenant. The Lieutenant can't activate this Lieutenant, but can it activate the Stack because of the six hexes. Hmm. Now in the rules it sounds like, of course, the Major activates units in his stack plus all the six. And as this is a captain, this gets activated. This captain activates this lieutenant plus uh, everything in that six hexes. Now this lieutenant can't activate this lieutenant, but it can activate those. Let me know if that's, um, if that's correct. Oops, there we go. What I'm saying is the major can activate itself, its stack, the six hexes, so it's this one and this one. As it's a captain, it can activate, uh, the major activates the captain as it's lower, and the captain, it's six hexes, and the stack it's in. This is a lieutenant, it's uh, subordinate, so that gets activated, its stack, and the six hexes around it. There's a lieutenant here, on this stack. Can't activate the lieutenant, because it's of equal rank, But I'm saying it can activate those because it's in the six hexes surrounding the lieutenant. What do you reckon? Hmm. Interesting. But what I'm going to do anyway is I want to move this one up. I want it to come, instead of going for an all out like we did last time, we're coming up around here and then we're going to advance. Hopefully by then, this lot has caused enough damage to those. So we'll see what happens. Right, so I'm just, I'm doing that. It will be interesting to know. I would say yes, the Lieutenant doesn't get activated, so any modifiers it's got doesn't, doesn't apply. So those 
Now the other thing is, yes, another quandary is that this has a combat modifier of two, so it can add its combat value of the stack plus this one, but not this one. It's not adjacent, but this one has a combat modifier of two, so it can add. that and that one. So all those three could combine, is that right? Combat modifier of two, so two adjacent hexes, so this one. Combat modifier of two, it's activated. Hmm, another quandary, what do we got here? Nine. Okay. This unit here is going to move and this unit here, because it's activated, is going to try and recover. These are going to combine fire and attack one of those, and this one is going to move and start to move round so it can do a an assault move later on. So let's have a go. First of all, we'll do this um, this disrupted one. This has a combat, uh, sorry, morale modifier of one, so that is now morale of eight. Let's do that. Sort of worrying too much about the rules. I dare say somebody will make a comment and put us straight. So, it's disrupted, it needs to get under an eight. No, 11. Crikey, that won't, uh, it won't recover. This one's going to move. So it's under there. So that one's uh, moved, but this one is going to fire on this disrupted unit. It has a strength of seven because the Major has a combat modifier of two, but they're in the woods and three or more hexes away. So we come down two from the seven column and we're in the two column as normal. So we need four or less, 11 or more. No, eight. Oops, that's a miss. So, that stack there is done. These two are combining because of the Lieutenant's combat modifier of two. So we have nine, 19, Twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. So on the thirty column, but we have to come down two because we're going to attack this one because it's three or more hexes away and it's in the woods. But we come down two from the thirty. That's on the sixteen. We must not throw a seven on the sixteen column. Oh, 10. So on the 16. Oh, the light's a bit dodgy. M1. Morale plus one. Let's have a look. They're both full strength. Seven. Morale. So, seven or less, plus one on the dice. No, that one is disrupted. Top one is disrupted. Bottom one, seven or less. Eight, no, they are both disrupted. No, hold on. No, they are seven, yes, there's no uh, modifiers. From the leaders and things, right. 
and these are done. This is that one, I think. That didn't make it, did it? No, right. That, if I haven't messed up completely, is that, and it's now the Russians. Okay, they're in a bit of trouble now. So, one, two, three, four. Having a, having a go at the major. There's 21 under here. They're on the 21, or the 16. They move down a column because they are three or more hexes away. On to the 11. Let's see. Firing at these. Six. It's a miss. Germans. These are moving. And they've got a three movement, so they're gonna move one, two, three. Should be doing these uh, separately, shouldn't I? One, two, Now, because these are disrupted, I may review that movement. They can only fire at half their combat value. So it may be worth moving in. Now the quandary the Russians have got, if you're playing another person, they can either now decide to do opportunity fire or wait and try and recover for next turn. Hmm, would they opportunity fire? They're firing, as I say, at half their combat strength, so that's four. And then what would the Germans do? Would they move up? They then get a plus two to their column modifier for their second opportunity fire. We could throw a, a die and decide whether or not they would, because there's a determined look in the Germans' eyes. Yeah, I've had a bit of a think. I'm going to do opportunity fire, I had a look at the counters and things and scene. So yes, they are going to opportunity fire on that unit there. They are on four, however, because they are doing opportunity fire, it gets moved up to the seven column. So let's see what happens. Eight, whoops. No, that's a miss on the seven column. Right. Okay, the Germans see a chance and they are advancing again. And they are firing for the second time. So I'll pop that on there. So they're on the four. They go up one because they are opportunity firing. And they also go up another two because the target hex is adjacent to all firing units. So, they're on the 16, which is quite good. So they were here, plus one for opportunity fire, plus two because they are next door to the uh, target. Right, let's see what they get. Oh, just, it's a morale check. Okay. That unit has a morale of seven. So it has to throw seven or less. Yes, they're fine. That means they cannot now do anything. And this unit is now moving. One, nothing can hit it. Two, 
along with the lieutenant. It looks like we might have some assault uh, movement next turn. I think that's right. I hope that's right. Russians. Well, they're going to bombard. Well, what can... Hold on, hold on. Ah, see, that colonel's gone now. He can't activate anything. The captain... Oh, this is looking dire. Well, hmm. the Russians are going to try and uh, they still can do this. Let's see if they can disrupt the lieutenant can. Yeah. Lieutenant can activate himself and the unit underneath him, plus this, plus this, plus this. This is going to obviously uh, do indirect fire. This is now going to try and rally. And if it does, we'll move those onto it. So, or recovery as it's called in this game. So, seven... Under a seven. There are no modifiers from that uh, lieutenant. No! Crikey! Whoops. So that is still disrupted. This is going to fire on this because it's a bit worried. Oh, I'll put the wrong one on there. Look. Confusing. Now I'm used to them. Right. This is going to fire on this to see if we can do something about that because they can see what's going to happen next turn. On the eight column. Four or less, ten or more. Come on, boys. Eight. No. It's a miss. And these are just going to move. Uh, that's right. Yes, that's a disruptive one underneath. Um, these are going to move, we're going to activate the captain who's activating all this. So the lieutenant is going to move here, that's two movement allowances. These are going to move up. And these are going to move up. Trying to reinforce. There we are. Germans, all they can do now is try and recover their demoralized unit in the town. Shivering and a shaking. It has a morale of seven, minus one because it's demoralized. So six is its morale, throws under a six. Four. It does it. It now becomes disrupted. So it can now at least move. And that, over to the Russians. No. Germans, no. That's it. Both have passed. That's the end of the turn. Crikey. Germans took a chance and it paid off. But let's see what happens. It certainly looks like next turn they're going to be assaulting. And that's something new for me, so I've got to look at the rules as we go. And they're going to move, I would think, into that hex and assault it. And it is disrupted. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, well, a few questions arose there about um, procedures and rules. So, we hope we get those sorted out. Um, probably very obvious, and I've missed it in the rules, but uh, worth thinking about. Okay, if you have enjoyed it, this continuing little battle that's turning, it's supposed to be a quick little scenario, is turning into a sort of 
tit for tat, backwards and forwards, struggle looking for, the Germans are looking for that chink, they may have found it. So if you are enjoying it, as I say, please subscribe, like the video, push the bell, leave a comment, and as always, thank you to my subscribers. Thank you very much. So this has been part four of Panzer Grenadier by Avalanche Press. So, ha, till the next time, let's see what happens. You take care and goodbye.